Welcome to ITK Bar Camp. Today we're going to continue our introduction to the use of the command line prompt. And we're going to start working today with uh, directories. So if we look at the current directory where we are with the print working directory command, pwd, uh, we can see that we are in this uh, command line subdirectory of the C++ directory in our sandbox for the Bar Camp. And if we use the ls command, we can see that we have a um, collection of uh, 10 files in here. We can see the actual sizes and dates of those files. And we can see that there are no subdirectories so far. So we have a very flat structure where we have a folder uh, with a collection of te text files. So let's start creating some structure. The idea of, of directories is that uh, you create a hierarchical structure uh, similar to a tree. So let's start by using the mkdir command, so make directory command. We create a directory called Europe. Uh, in that directory we can create another directory called France, another one called Germany, Italy, uh, Spain, and if we go back to the uh, France directory, and by the way, when I'm recovering these commands, I'm doing this by using the cursor app in the keyboard. I can recover previous commands. It's an easy way to reuse them. Uh, okay, so back to the mkdir command. We are going to create yet another subdirectory inside France. We're going to call this one Paris. Recover the command, and we create another city for Lyon. Um, France. And inside the Paris directory, we can create a, a subdirectory for a region. So, for example, Montparnasse would be a subdirectory there. Um, if we want to look at the structure that we have created, so notice that there is a, a tree like notion there, and implicitly is assumed that uh, there are sort of subdivisions, but you know, the meaning of the subdirectory is up to you to define. Um, at the level of the system, what happens is that there is this tree-like structure, and you decide how you want to name them and interpret their content. When we do the ls, now we see this Europe directory here. If we do ls-l, we see just the, the base of that directory. If we want to see the content, we can use the recursive option. So what dash capital R is going to do is to navigate down to the Europe directory and it's going to show us the content of each one of those subdirectories. So it is by showing that at the level of Europe we have um, the four countries and then inside France we have three cities and inside Paris we happen to have a region. And it leads the rest of the hierarchy. Uh, in this case it's showing us that this directory is empty. There are no directory, no subdirectories or files in there, same here in the RENS directory, same in the Germany directory, because we didn't create any structures in there. So you can progressively keep adding to those. Another command that is very convenient for looking at the structure of directories is the tree command. Uh, tree is not always installed in um, your Linux system. You can always install it by using the sudo command, get install tree, that will install it. Um, in this case, I have already done this, so I can just type the tree command and say that I want to look at the current directory. The dot symbol uh, refers to the directory where we are right now. So if you remember when we type the print working command, um, this is our current directory. The dot is a short name for the directory where we are right now. So whatever PWD is returning, that is what the dot symbol represents. So I can do three dot and this is going to show us this particular structure. I'm going to scroll a little bit up. So we have the tree command for the current directory and here is telling us the current directory has a subdirectory called Europe with three subdirectories, sorry, four, four countries. Uh, France has three subdirectories for cities and this one has one subdirectory for a region inside a city. Now that we have that structure, we could start um, placing information in those subdirectories. Um, but before we do that, then let's assume that we, um, let's create yet another one. So let's call this one Portugal. And on purpose we are mistyping um, the name. Oops, sorry. Um, I meant to 
create a directory. All right, so uh, we have created the wrong name. We decided that um, at this point we have two options. We could rename that directory or we could delete the directory and create another one again. Um, let's try illustrating how to remove the directory. Uh, for that we use the rm remove directory and the requirement for this command is that the directory must be empty. This is mostly a um, safety precaution because you can have a lot of information in a subdirectory or a directory in general and therefore the the system protects you from making um, you know accidentally deleting a lot of information. So the remove directory only allows you to delete an empty directory. If you had files inside of that one, you will have to go and delete the files individually before you can remove it with this command. Okay, so here we just remove it. If we use the tree command again, we can see that the, the directory is gone. And uh, now we can create it again, but this time with the right spelling. And uh, we use again the tree command, and we can see the new subdirectory created there. Um, let's illustrate what happened with um, when a directory actually has a file. So we are going to copy file number 9, for example, to the subdirectory Europe uh, Portugal. We use the tree command again, and now we see that file number 9 is there. We could also use the ls recursive command to look at the content of those files, and we'll see that file number 9 is now inside of Portugal, the Portugal subdirectory. If we attempt to remove it now, Um, the system responds that uh, it, it's not going to do that, it's uh, protecting us from losing information and it's telling us that the directory is not empty. Our option then is to use the rm command and explicitly go in there and deleting the file first. So I can delete the file, now the directory is empty and now I can repeat the um, remove directory command to eliminate it. Okay, let's create Portugal again. Oops, sorry. Um, here. Okay, so we have restored that directory and we have again our collection of countries. Um, an alternative option for removing directories, and it's something that you have to use very, very carefully, uh, is the recursive rm command. So rm normally will delete files, but you can also use it for deleting directories. And it's a very dangerous command when it's used in this way, so you have to be very careful when, when you apply it. Um, the first thing that you want to do when you use rm using the recursive option is to first make sure that you know where you are. So the print working directory command, pwd, is your best friend here. You want to verify your location before you attempt to do a recursive delete. And the more explicit you can be on what you intend to, to delete, then the safer it will be to use. Um, Use again the tree command. So, uh, if I wanted to delete the entire uh, directory structure, I could use the um, rm. Let's say that we want to eliminate this branch of the tree. So, we are going to delete France and its subdirectories. So, we're going to use rm r and we specify the directory. So, it would be rm France. We use tree again we can see that we have eliminated that directory and the subdirectories and we have now uh, these remaining ones. Um, now remember that we were, when we were creating the Portugal directory we made a misspelling and our options were to delete the directory and create it again or to rename it. So let me illustrate how uh, you could have renamed the directory. Uh, let's take Uh, we have uh, let's, let's re recreate France. So, but let me spell it as Francie. And we create the directory. We have it there. And we are going to use the uh, move uh, command. So move has this kind of double sense of moving files in the file system, files and directories across the file system, or rename rename mean those same directories and files. And the reason is that uh, at the level of the implementation of the file system, those two operations are very closely related. So um, not something that you have to know in detail, uh, but it explains what the the name of the command really means move, is the mnemonic for move rather than the mnemonic for renaming. 
And so if you wanted to rename that directory and uh, that we misspelled here, so uh, Francie, so we are going to provide the name of the current name of the directory and what the new name should be. All right, and that does it. Uh, if we look at the tree command again, we have we can see that the directory has been fixed. Okay, so that concludes our uh, quick introduction to the use of uh, creation uh, and removal of directories. Um, thank you for listening.